In our previous class, we have the idea about router and switch, and some basic introduction about what is networking, why we are using network, all the information we have. So now, after that, we are going to learn some other topic that is how we can access the router and how we can run the commands. What are the commands we are going to use in the router and the switch? So this is a console cable. We are using the console cable to access the router. Or switch. Example: If you have brand new switch, if you have brand new switch, like uh, factory, you bring any switch or router from the Cisco. If you purchase any router or switch from the Cisco, we will have the brand new, no configuration, nothing is present there. Because if you want to access any switch or router, example, let me show you. If you want to access any router or switch. you cannot access without ip address if you have your pc and you have the ethernet cable even if you connect the ethernet cable you cannot access because this router or switch is not having the any ip address here so in that scenario we will use the console cable this is a console cable we will connect the cable console cable to the switch that is console port and we will connect that console cable to our port nowadays we have the usb console also we have different types of console but here i am selecting rs232 it is available in the packet tracer but now in real scenario new model is coming with the usb console let me show you any console cable whatever is available nowadays we are using the usb console cable USB console cable. We are using ASR 9000 series router now, so we have different types of console cable. You we can use this way also, this one also, but the one which we are using currently is USB. Both the end is USB console cable, both end USB. So this one we are using this types of cable. We can use anything, no issue. Depend. Along with the router, we will get this cable also. Nowadays, we are getting the.